On one of my recent live streams, I tried out the new genome sampling tool introduced in the Odyssey Phase 3 Alpha test. It's a super frustrating process, but instead of just complaining about it, I asked chat how we're going to fix it. And we actually came up with some pretty cool ideas. Today's video is brought to you by Rich Wallet. Rich create modern compact wallets made from premium materials like titanium, carbon fiber, or aluminum. In fact, Rich is so confident in the product that they offer you a 45 day test drive with a full refund if you don't like it. But why wouldn't you like them? The wallets are easily half the size of a traditional wallet, but despite that, they can still hold up to 12 cards and has a money clip on the side. All the wallets also come with RFID blocking to prevent digital theft. So check out Rich Wallet on rich.com forward slash D2EA and use offer code D2EA to get 10% off. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elite Dangerous but Down to Earth Astronomy. So I see myself as a pretty down to earth person and it requires quite a bit for me to get annoyed at a game, but the new genome sampling tool that was introduced with the Odyssey Phase 3 has achieved that to the point where when I was testing it, on my recent live stream, I was really close to just go, yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna go get a gun and go to a conflict zone and shoot some NPCs in the face instead. Because it was such a frustrating process. But I decided to ask chat, what do we do to fix it? And we came up with some interesting ideas. But first I want to dive in and identify why I think this is such a frustrating process. So the minigame works by you have these spinning circles, you have an outer pattern you need to match. When the spinning circle patterns match the outer pattern, you click. And then you go in one level, you click again, and you do that three times. Do it three times successfully, and you can successfully sample a genome. However, do you fail a level, you go out. You lose one ring that you already locked in. And that's one of the first things that makes this super frustrating. You make some progress, and any game mechanic that takes progress away from you is frustrating. It's frustrating when you lose a ship, and it's frustrating when you sit with a little mini game and you click and you click and then you fail. And not only does it mean that that ring failed, but you're being punished by also taking an existing ring you already completed away from you. The second thing that really annoyed the hell out of me was the fact that these inner rings that you have to match, that they sometimes fade out, that their like opacity changes. So sometimes when you're just sitting there, you're focusing on it, you're trying to see, oh, it's about to line up, then it, uh, it fades out and you can't see anything. And you have to sit and wait for it to come around again. You can try again the next time. It is super frustrating. And a problem I have with it is it doesn't work very well for exploration. It's relatively similar to the subsurface mining mechanic where you shoot a subsurface displacement missile and there's a little bar and you have to release at just the right time to get fragments out. The narrower band you release at, the more fragments you get. And that works okay for mining, I think. But the problem as I see it is that all the player skill needed for this is contained in this mini game. There's nothing around it. You run around with your scanner, you click the scanner and if things are green, that means scan it. If it's not green, it means do not scan it. It is really super dumped down the scanning mechanic, but then all the skills in the minigame. And I feel for exploration that it should be the other way around. That the minigame is relatively simple and easy to solve, but it is the scanning part that should be the difficult one. This is where the player skills should be. So here's the suggestion we came up doing the live stream. Take the little minigame, dumb it down, make it a lot more simple. Maybe just make it one ring. I feel like it would be pretty balanced if you just had one ring you need to match and maybe that was the outer ring would then spin a little bit faster th than it does now. So maybe it's like at the second ring. So there's a little bit, there's a little bit of skill in it. So maybe have the outer ring spin faster than it does now, but only have one ring. Match one ring, you're done, you got your sample. You need to collect three samples from various locations, which doesn't make sense. It's supposed to be because of diversity, but you're running like 100 meters that way. And then it's supposed to be a different like genome I, I, I don't know it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me i don't know if that's you're supposed to do it like that or if you're supposed to get your ship and fly to another part of the planet which would make this process even more frustrating but the way i would fix it is as i said dumb down the scanning mechanic and then instead have you go out to each individual plant and collect samples from the plants in different stages of its development maybe it's different variations of the same plant it's already implemented in the game you already see all these different uh, you have like fungi, you have cactus, and you have bacterial patterns. They all have different visual uh, representations. Some of you may have plants that are 
very small. So maybe they are like still in like a, almost a seed form. Maybe they are blossoming. Maybe they are just sprung out. Maybe there's the different different stages. There are some of them that like these like weird ball things. Then they have like like leaves on the top, and then some of them have little dimples on the top, and some have nothing on the top. They already exist in different different visual representations. And to me, it would make a lot more sense if what you would have to do is to collect these different visual versions of the plants rather than just run up to any of them and just sample them at a different at, at distances. Because this would mean that you would have to go out as a player and then look at a plant and say, okay, I have a plant here and I have a plant next to it that kind of looks like it but there's a little difference. So what is the difference? Okay, so there's different colored leaves or this one has a longer, well, the bigger leaves maybe, or I don't know. And then you have to go and you have to yourself run around and look at the plants and figure out which ones belong together. Like all the visuals is already there. It just needs to change the game mechanic and move the skill cap over on the scanning. So how good you are at identifying the different plants. It might mean that you have to completely remove the scanning functionality of the little genome sampler since that would probably make it too easy if you just scan and then again as I said go to the green thing. Then when you do collect your genome samples give us more information. Give us some like oh this is a like major type or subtype maybe give us some 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 basic it could just be made up information it doesn't matter. And then you can sit and look at the information and maybe see oh they need to find something that kind of matches it with other plants. I I don't know um, there's multitude of opportunities here. But the fact is just the way the minigame is right now, it's not a very enjoyable process. And if it stays like that, I can't see a lot of people spending a lot of time doing that. Now, another thing I want to mention is it wasn't 100% clear whether we were supposed to be able to collect them as close as we do now, or if we're supposed to get in our ship and move to a different spot of the planet in order to collect the different genomes, or if it's just, you know, we can just run over to the other side of the patch. If it is meant that we are supposed to get in our ship and fly to another location, then please let us have more than one canister at a time. It makes zero sense that I come up to an area that may contain three or four different types of, uh, of plants, and I can only sample one, then I have to go to a new patch to sample it second time, go to a third patch to have sample it the third time, and then I can start all over sampling a plant and then going between these three sites all over again like four times. That is super frustrating. So if we are meant to go in ships to different locations, then please let us have more canisters so we can sample, have multiple sample cycles or like collect multiple samples for different plants at the same time. Though I would prefer if we could stay within the same patch and then, as I said, just look for different visual variations of the same plant. Another thing I would really like to see changed is the payout for these. I know this is one of the last things. This is an alpha and, and these are probably one of the last things Frontier is going to change before things go live. So I'm not too worried about the payout. Frontier has already done an amazing job rebalancing other parts of the game. So we're now at a point where both combat, mining and some mission running all kind of pay in the same area and is relatively well balanced in terms of credit payout. I really hope Frontier is going to do something similar when they look at the payout for the new um, exobiology things because it, it as it is right now, it's just, it's just too little um, that you get paid for it. I mean, it is really the last level. You have now different levels of exploration. You have just FSS scanning the planets. You have then mapping it. That should then pay a little more. And then you actually take your time. You land. You go out. You fight the plants. It's fair enough. This is rare, but it should also pay out. I feel like it should be a little bit more like... Um, um, like calls from uh, from mining that it's one of those things that you don't find like plants on every single planet with an atmosphere but when you find it it should be one of those uh, catching now the space cheddar i got some I've, i got a good find here something you should be excited about when you find a little bit like it is when you're out um coal mining i feel like the balance there is, is pretty good so something similar like that i feel like would be pretty nice but as always, I would love to hear your guys' feedback. What do you think? Is the ideas that I presented here completely whack and wouldn't work at all? Do you have better suggestions or just other suggestions? Like, post them in the comment section. I'll be sure to get this video to Frontier. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a like and subscribe to the channel for more Odyssey content. And also next time, I will see you guys in space.